on, this is Angel Hope with Angel Hope Designs. I'm here to show you the finished um, gumball machine that I've been working on. And uh, I want to um, go over some details of how I've done everything. And uh, hopefully this inspires you to do one as well. Um, as you see here, I started off uh, covering it. Uh, I spray painted it first. And, I, and then I covered it with uh, resin and uh, dry clay roses. And this technique here with the painting and how I did this is all over on my Patreon. And if you become a member, you can watch uh, those videos and the many more videos that are coming. Um, I did it all the way around on the sides here. Very vibrant. I done a mixture of colors and like I said, all of the I this whole tutorial on this alone is over on my Patreon. I tell you what products I used, what colors I used, how I used it, and everything. And I wanted to keep this um, like a garden friendship theme. And uh, what I loved about is that I used some of this. Uh, I had some copper paint that was still good. It was brass color. And then, oh my word, that got messy, didn't it? Um. Well. I used the matte wax to give it like a um, patina look on and I wanted it to make it look like they had copper accents on the front and then I'll show you here um, the copper filigree here is painted with a little bit of that then also the front of here where I take I took a rag and as I did it I just rubbed it off to give it that worn look uh, the patina look because there's a patina fountain inside here. Also, I put some pearls in the um, well, I don't even know the channel where you get stuff put in. You know where you, the bubble gum comes out, and then I put a real pretty rhinestone uh, trim across the edge here. And yes, it has loose pearls in there, and I did that on purpose because I want to be able to, I didn't want to have to glue every single little thing. And plus, it just gives it to where you can move the pearls around if you want. If you want them inside the little um, coffee cup I have right there or that. So this is a fountain with that patina look. Um, then you have the vintage girls, and then the little frame says, family and friends make life beautiful. And then you have flowers all the way around so any direction that you turn this it is already decorated and what the fun part is is that here at the bottom it has lights so I'm going to cut off my light so you can see the ambiance maybe I don't know if you can see it but it has light, so this could be a beautiful little night light, um, and it lights up behind the fountain and under the flowers to illuminate the design on the inside. And you just simply stick this back in there, and uh, and it will set flush, just like this. So this is not a workable gumball machine. It was never meant to be that. It is meant to be an art piece that you just. Um, sit on a table and admire but my favorite technique has to be these roses and I wanted to look like the reason why I put the uh, the copper and the patina on the front and the copper and the patina piece inside and this reminded me of a garden trellis so it kind of gives it that that feel and that look and um, everything and this uh, how to get this look this dried age look is also over on my patreon so, I want to thank everybody, and I hope this inspires you to create your very own, and um, be, be, you know, just jump out of your comfort zone and just try it. That's all you can do, and that's exactly what I did here, and I think it turned out really, really pretty. I did. I think it's, I just love the roses and everything. I love the design and the way I painted them to make them look, you know, as realistic as I could, or make them look like porcelain you know how we see some of the porcelain things so thank you all and if you have any questions let me know and i'll see you in the next video